volt D batteries for a combined total of 4.5 volts. Here we have the terminal end, or the negative terminal, and the positive terminal. Clucky will take one of the metal conductor plates and attach it to the negative end. He will then uh, take the positive conductor plate and attach it to the positive end. From the negative end, we will go down the wire to the end and attach it to this light bulb. From that light bulb, we're, we will connect another wire. Going towards another light bulb. Then we'll attach that light bulb to the positive conductor plate. The energy will tra travel from negative through to the bulb, through the bulb, to the other bulb, and to the positive conductor plate. Um, now, we will sh uh, this is an example of series. And clucky power. <laughs> As you can see, in, we have a parallel circuit going here. We have four batteries for a combined uh, total of six volts. Um, we have our two conductor plates, um, one light bulb, two light bulb. Now, if Clucky will all put some power on, two light bulbs working. Now, in uh, parallel here, if one, if the second light here will work if this light bulb is taken out. Light bulb taken out, and it still works. That is the idea of parallel. Lucky son of a gun. Let's go have a. And now Clarky will apply power. And now Clarky will apply power. And we have light in both bulbs. Now, in series, if you take out one light bulb, the other one won't work either. Now, if we put that light bulb back in, works and works, and that's series. Here we have our multimeter. We're going to test for the amp. <laughs> Here is our multimeter. Here we have our multimeter. Here we have our multimeter. We're going to test for the amp. <laughs> Here is our multimeter. We're going to test for the current and the voltage. Uh, first, we will test for the current. I'm getting a reading about, about uh, it's all over the place. It's in the 120s. About on the, the 125. 125-ish, okay? And now we will test for the voltage. We're getting about four, four volts. So, yeah. And... Time? To figure out the resistance, we're going to use a mathematical equation to figure, uh, called Ohm's Law to figure out the resistance. So V is our volts and I is our current. Now we had 4 volts and 1.25 for current. And that will equal our resistance. Now. Now, 4 divided by 1.25. That equals 3.2. Equals 3.2 ohms. Ta da! <laughs> and apply. Oh, fuck. Okay. And if Clark, you would put some power on. And we have light, although you can't see it through the camera. It really is there, I, I promise you. It, it's there. You just, it's dim. Okay, so that, that's serious. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs>
hey, hey, hey. What, what, what you doing? I'm running a series, man. What, what series? What series? What, what series? series? Is a circuit where the electrons only have one path to flow. Go, 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 go. What, well, the, the light bulbs, they're, they're turned on. Hey, hey, hey. What happens if you unscrew a light bulb? Everything will stop. Everyone will, everything will stop? Okay, okay. Well, let's try unscrewing one of these light bulbs. Oh, everything stops, huh? Shocker. Alright, that's good. <laughs> <laughs>